Well, 680 is Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, it is certainly going to be a costly Labor Day weekend to drive. So, well, we started yesterday morning at saying maybe a seven cent increase. Then in the day, it was like an eight cent increase. And now nine? Yeah, you can take that to the bank. Gas going up nine cents a liter at midnight tonight here in Toronto. Francis, after jumping five cents already this morning. So things are getting mighty expensive. Again, we're going up nine cents tonight, and that'll bring the average at most GTA stations to around $1.32.9. Of course, you'll shop around. You may find a better price. The trend calls for a drop of just a penny on Sunday. All told this week, we're looking at a 17 cents wow. increase. Yeah, uh, we're paying 32 cents more than we were a year ago. The record here in Toronto, Francis, we're getting close to it at $1.41. So keep it on 680. Keep it on city. We'll let you know day by day uh, what's going to happen with these gas prices. So the Canadian dollar, though, is uh, hitting a two-year high now, as expectations are there for an uh, increased uh, interest rate hike. Yeah, that's right. It's looking more and more like the Bank of Canada will raise interest rates maybe as early as next week. Uh, this all following some good uh, GDP numbers yesterday. The loony briefly crossed 81 cents U.S. today, finished a bit below it at 80.71 cents U.S. So it takes a dollar and 24 cents Canadian to buy one U.S. dollar. Uh, rate hikes tend to move a country's currency higher because it makes investing in that country more worth the risk. A lot of economists I'm talking to, though, Francis, say we might be towards the ceiling for the Canadian dollar. It may be hard pressed to move higher from here. But there you go, close to 81 cents for the Canuck Buck this evening. So we saw Natish at Fan Expo. It's on this weekend. Gives us a chance to meet some of our uh, favorite sci-fi stars. And Richard, those meet and greets come at a big price. you got to pay for them. So uh -huh. we're, we're going to take a look here at what it's going to cost to meet some of your, your, your favorite uh, fan favorites. Anthony Daniels, we just saw him on the uh, Entertainment Report. You want an autograph with C-3PO, 95 bucks. You want to wow. take a picture with him, $115. C-3PO is smart. He knows how to make a buck. Uh, sure does. N next, Meatloaf. He'll do anything for love, but he won't sign his name for free. Autograph, 60 bucks. A picture, 75 You can meet Richard Dreyfus at the Fan Expo. And uh, we're gonna, he's gonna, says he needs a bigger boat, but you're going to need a bigger bankroll to meet Richard Dreyfus. An autograph with him, 70 bucks. A picture with Mr. Dreyfus, 60 And he's actually charging for a selfie, $40. $40 uh, next, for a selfie? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty wow. smart, isn't it? He'll make a few bucks on that. Uh, Gatin Maserato, this is one of the, uh, the big stars in Stranger Things. 40 bucks for an autograph, 60 for a picture, 40 for mm. a selfie. And then there's the real stars you want to meet, right? Mm -hmm. So Richard Southern, Francis <laughs> D'Souza. We weren't actually invited in, but we might be hanging around outside. If you want an autograph, we'll actually give you 20 bucks. A picture? Absolutely. You, you sure you got the right person, though? <laughs> You know, I did hear Cersei from uh, Game of Thrones was supposed to be here in Toronto, but cancelled. And I wonder how much she would have gone for. Yeah, there wasn't actually a lot of big-name stars mm -hmm. this year. There were a lot more last year, but uh, I think Richard Dreyfuss and C-3PO might make a few bucks this weekend. Probably. So uh, Netflix is selling its own strains of weed. I find this very bizarre. Yeah. They, <laughs> speaking of knowing uh, how to make a few dollars, Netflix getting into the marijuana business. Uh, they're coming out with their own strains of marijuana, and each one of them is is tailored to Netflix original shows uh, like Lady Dynamite, Orange is the New Black, Bojack Horseman. Netflix says each variety was cultivated with the specific shows in mind designed to complement each title based on their tone. We're looking at a few of the <laughs> jars here. Of course, this is just in California, not available in Canada because it's not legal yet, but who knows next summer, Francis, we might have not just Netflix <laughs> and chill, but maybe Netflix and bake or something like that. But it gives you an idea of what the market are thinking right and what could yeah. possibly be coming our way you're going to see marijuana everything next summer sure you can are. bank on that so it is force friday the annual event when disney releases new star wars toys you're looking at the one that got the uh, most talk today yeah so 200 bucks for this gadget from disney and uh, they actually teamed up with lenovo for this it's an augmented reality headset, and it lets you battle with Darth Vader and lead resistant troops into battle. You put on the helmet, and you see the Star Wars action in front of you, but it's overlaid on top of what you're actually looking at. That's what they call augmented reality. And they're saying this is actually maybe a sign that uh, augmented reality might be closer than we think. Companies from Microsoft to Apple are betting big on it. In fact, it's been rumored that the iPhone 8 will feature some augmented reality features. So happy Force Friday to you, Francis. I know you were very excited. You could barely sleep last night because it's Force I, Friday. I could. I, I just was waiting for this moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Have a great long weekend. Have a good weekend. Okay.